mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a we hangin, we bang, a we bangin. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we're having a homemade meal. I made um, Tuscan chicken. I got this recipe off of TikTok. Uh, we have some broccoli and cheese, some croissants, and the chicken is over some wild rice, y'all. And I have my, what is this? Oh my God. Fruit punch tea? Arizona fruit punch. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. Yeah, I'm literally nervous. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to taste like. Oh my God. <laughs> it looked amazing. Did you do the once over with the camera? Yeah, I already did it. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all gonna be able to see it up close. <clears throat> Come on, let's pray. Well, uh, God is great, God is good, thanks for this food. Amen. Amen. Do we need knives? Just just cut a bunch of food for it, because, yeah, we need a thumbnail. What? What? I know Bailey is not outside. You let her out? Oh my God. Child. So we got Bailey in the house. <laughs> These <coughs> little flippy weaves. <sighs> Let's try this dag on me, food. or something. You see how I scored the chicken? Mm-hmm. Happy Saturday, y'all. Y'all let us know what y'all eating. Okay, so, yeah, we have to talk about this young lady named um, Alexis Morales. I don't want to forget. She is missing. Now, I haven't gotten any updates today, but what's wrong? The table was too far back. Oh. Um... But here's a clip, y'all. Here we go. Listen to this. All right, you guys. So before we get started, I need y'all to blow this up because we need your help in finding Alexis Morales and her son, Messiah. Now, Dang, this I'm going to get in Elkhart, Indiana, and copyrighted for this song. After a family no. gathering in a park, Alexis and her son just disappeared. Now, investigators say that Alexis and her son, Messiah, were last seen leaving Kelly Park in South Bend around 7 p.m. on April 12th. Now, she was last seen driving her silver 2006 BMW with Moolah Love on the tag. Now, like I said before, she was at a family gathering, so her family is very just, they're puzzled to where she could have went after this. We need help, man. Come on here, help us search for my mom. My son and my, 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 my son's mother. A heartbroken father pleads to the community for help. Why is that? Do I need to play a part again? <clears throat> I heard him. Okay. He ain't know what I'm to call. Start, I, I'm going to start. He ain't know what to call that, bro. Both his fiance and son go missing. The pair were last seen leaving a friendly gathering in a silver BMW SUV Tuesday evening at Kelly Park around 7 p.m. Nobody heard from him. Nobody ain't contacting her phone is off. Can't find That's her the truck. Is that where someone did say that last time they seen their truck was on Portage in South Bay, Indiana. Friends and family have been searching tirelessly since the pair's disappearance, knocking on doors, handing out flyers, and even contacting several tow companies. But still no sign of Alexis or Messiah. Now, y'all, something that stuck out to me was Alexis was still posting on her Facebook page three days ago. Now, what's so crazy is her last Let it talk. actually a repost Here. of one of my videos. 
Now, three days ago would have been on the 13th. The family is saying that she was last seen April 12th around 7 p.m. Now, South Bend, the place where she was last seen is about 49 minutes away from where she actually lives, which is New Paris. The family is saying that she told them she was going home to New Paris, so that's where they were expecting her to go. I'm not quite sure when they realized that she was missing or when she stopped answering the phone, you guys. But like I said before, she was last seen April 12th, but her last post on Facebook was April 13th. We shut down the factory and we had everybody come up and uh, that was able to. This is a great family. These are good folks. And, you know, it's time like this when we uh, we need to come together and do whatever we can to, to bring this young woman and that baby home. A search continues. The family worries whether the two are in danger and whether they're still in the area. But their biggest question is when will they find Alexis and Messiah? You know, we pray that God has got everything. We, we are praying family. We know God don't make no mistakes. Say if anyone who might be holding her against her will, um, I just want everyone to come together and pray that she will be released. All right, you guys, so Alexis is 27 years old. Her son, Messiah, is five months. There is a search party underway. If you have any information, contact police. All right, you guys. Now, what I'm wondering is, uh-oh. All right, you guys, so before we get... I'm wondering, excuse me. Was the boyfriend at the gathering? Yeah. Oh, the, the fiance. Uh, yeah. You know. Like, what are you trying to say? He's saying, I'm not trying to say anything. What do you insinuate? I'm not sure. What do you think about, uh, hold on. Because this is annoying. There we go. What do you think? About him stuttering. I, I mean, mean, he could he, be grieving. Yeah, he did sound a little sus. I didn't hear no grief, and he did he, sound suspect. Mm. <laughs> I didn't honest. hear the grief either. Sound but like, almost sound like he was I grieving. Don't, we, we shouldn't judge anybody, you know what I'm saying? Because people grieve differently. But I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't feel it. He seemed really nervous. So, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. I ain't gonna put it on him, though, because, you know. Because there's too <clears> much <throat> going on. Is somebody else trying to put it on? People trying to say he got something People are in the comments talking, saying exactly what I'm thinking. No. So, y'all, if y'all see a post about her, make sure y'all share it. So her and her baby can be found like, oh my God. Hopefully they're found alive. Hopefully. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, okay. So there's this big story going on about Abercrombie and Fitch. Do y'all know anything about this story? Like it's all over TikTok. And um, apparently somebody did a documentary on Abercrombie uh, and Fitch. It's called um, White Hot. Excuse me. So I, I watched a video of somebody talking about it. Now let me, let me just tell you what they say about it. They said that this um, documentary is an exploration of the brand's pop culture reign in the late 1990s and early 2000s and how it thrived on exclusion. Now, the reason I'm even bringing this up, because y'all probably don't even know anything about Urban Crump. Yeah, y'all probably do. I don't know. Anyway, I used to work there, okay? And remember when I told y'all, like, I didn't become woke or, you know, or even had a clue about, like, real racism until, you know what I'm saying? Not that freaking long ago. Because I told y'all, I know I've told y'all before that I've never really experienced racism. Like, I, I haven't. Haven't I said that? Because mm -hmm. I don't think I have. I, I haven't. As far as I know. But I found out today that I probably did. So, I worked at Abercrombie and Fitch when I was very, very young. Um, how old was I? I worked at the Abercrombie 
and Fitch um, in the Galleria. It had to be in the early 90s, y'all. It had to be. Anyway, so I was so excited to work there, y'all. Because like they were saying, you know, it was really it was a really popular brand. Everybody wanted to wear the jeans. Black and, people. Black people. Mm -hmm. really? Black people wanted to. I mean, I want I never I even heard of to. that stuff. <laughs> I wanted to wear them and I was black. I didn't even know they existed. You know? I mean, was anybody else into Abercrombie? I was. <laughs> anyway. So um I would wonder. You know, they hired me. I was so excited. And it took a while for me to even get on the schedule. And I was just like, why are they not putting me on the schedule? Not at all. I'm coming up there, checking. And, and it seemed like I didn't get put on that schedule, y'all, until like two weeks in or something. I don't even know. I can't even really remember. But um, finally got on there, work one day, y'all. When I tell y'all... When I seen the schedule for that next week, I was not on it. I was not on it. And but what, you, that the way that you just enough to say that they had a black employee because they had to hire you because boom. Because mm -hmm. I don't remember anybody else black being in there but me. You, I was the only one was when token. I worked. When I worked because I was hardly ever on the schedule. And this is how I was thinking about it, y'all. <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> I was like, damn, they ain't got no hours to give me. Even though when I was looking on the schedule, everybody else was scheduled. I was like, girl, did you get some hours? Did you get some hours? Are you on the schedule next week? Yeah, I'm on the schedule. Everybody was on the schedule but me. Okay. You know um, the accent? I was just thinking, <clears throat> um, oh, um, of course I asked. Um, and what did they say to me? Um, oh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You'll you'll be put on the schedule, just be patient. That's what they would tell me. Um, and I was patient, you know, I, I didn't think it was nothing to it. Like, I didn't even think twice about it, y'all. All I thought was, dang, they don't have no hours to give me. I need to find me another job with some hours because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I got the job so I can work and make money, you know? That's crazy. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, token blacks. We came up in this, in that time frame where, you know. Like a lot of times, we was the first black or the a first or the only black person working somewhere, and it was mm -hmm. just because of the um, what they call it, affirmative action. That's what exactly. it was. That's what it was. When I was working at the bank, first teller over there, at the at the first black male teller mm -hmm. at the bank ever. While I'm working at the bank, the woman who was the head of the Hilton Hotel. She was this, you know, real uh, uppity white woman. Oh, you know she had a, an account there. Yeah, she okay. would come and, you know, I would uh -huh. help her at the bank. Mm -hmm. And then she, you know, wanted me to, to work uh, at, at the hotel. She, you know, recruited me to work over there. Mm -hmm. I ended up trying to do it because I'm like, why not? She, you know, she wanted me so bad. And then after I got there, you know, I'm, I'm wise. I'm realizing, I'm like, all other black people who work here is like janitors and, 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 and housekeeping. I'm like the only black person... And I bet you well, I was the you? first at the Hilton Hotel. No, where? You was in the Behind park? the desk, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I had that brown paper bag on It's that, the good looks. That's what it, that's it is. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, yeah. We can stand him. Yeah. That's, that's why they hide you. Oh, she, you must be looking cute. Oh, honey, yeah, I was of the course. Bomb. <laughs> yeah, we can stand her. I look good <laughs> in the jeans, y'all. I was tall. I look good in the jeans, and I was just <clears> like... I was like, dang, why they won't put me on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you was in the jeans and that from Yes, we had to wear that clothes. <coughs> Did they buy them for you? They gave you no, some? No, of course you had to buy it, but you get a discount. Whoa. I think we had a discount. Whoa. I can't really remember. I know. Um, wow. Yeah. And I was so excited because I was working at the gallery. Oh, my God. Yeah. Didn't last long at all. Token. When I was there on that freestyle team, I was a token. I'm like, wow. Really? Yeah, I'm like, wow. Why? Because they came, the way they came and approached me, I just went there to buy some brakes or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the freestyle parts. And here these little white boys come out of the back and they questioning me about what I can do and what mm -hmm. kind of bike I got and all this stuff. And next thing I know, they invite me to be on the team. What? Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, 
So affirmative how, action. We need a black person. But hey, how do you know, guy. though? How did how I you know, know they just I'm didn't so want you wise. because you was good? They, Christy, they didn't even, never even saw me ride before. Oh, okay. They descended on me as if somebody sent them. Go get him. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was no reason for that. Never oh, met probably... I had never met them. They never mm -hmm. met me. They never seen me ride. I was just there to pick up some parts. They probably couldn't get to the, um, what do you call it? They, the didn't, necess they didn't necessarily need me, mm -hmm. but it was that put them on the payroll. Now, we have a black employee. No matter if he just, you know, on the part of the freestyle team, he had to split $100 three ways when he do a show. He's on the Are payroll. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But you know, this was early nineties. That was a lot of money. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? I can't believe you was getting paid. Yeah. Okay, so y'all, so a lot of people have been coming out telling their stories. And y'all, I had to really think about because y'all, I was about to say, girl, <laughs> I have had I've had a lot of jobs, and some of them I kind of forgot about. And Abercrombie was one of them. And I had to remember that I was like, dang, I used to work there. And the problem was the schedule. And everybody else who told their story that was, was black, the yep, they wouldn't give them hours. It's just that's what I said. They wouldn't give them hours. And I was like, dang. You're just the token. That happened to me too. Mm hmm. Sure. So, we're not racist. We have black employees. Look. Mm mm mm. And so I, I want to watch the documentary. I believe it's on Netflix. So, Sam, what you doing? Yeah, so, I can't believe that. Like, I didn't think that was racist. Allegedly. Um, Y'all, what else? I didn't have that many today, but let me see. What's this? Guys, wow. Uh -uh. Country style. This is why I don't eat Chinese food. People should never be Ooh, surprised when they run across racism in America. You are in yeah. America. It is the land of racism. Come I on. Mean, Come on. Wait a minute. What was that place? It wasn't that long ago. They was hanging us in the streets and stuff. And Come on. It wasn't even that long ago, y'all. It wasn't even that long like, ago. Like, it's so sad. And it's still scene. happening You can't today. drink out of this water faucet. You got to go here. You got to drink. You know, come on. Treating us like dogs. Wasn't that long ago. Have you heard? I'm sorry. I'm still getting off treat us like dogs. Don't expect to be treated fairly here. Really? I don't understand why people from other countries move here. Like, do y'all watch the news? I would never. Like, if I live in Africa, I would never live here. Ever. I would deal with the animals. Like, I would never want to move here. I, I really it's, wouldn't. They say it's the opportunity, you know. I guess we don't understand. The opportunity to, to not have an opportunity? Like... With like, see, we don't, the opportunities, we, they've always been here, but like not, that ain't, we dealing with other problems. We, you know, we're descendants of slaves, so other people can look at it on the outside and just come in, swoop in for the opportunity. They, they not, they don't have it in their DNA what we have. They haven't went through it. Mm hmm So, you know, it's different for them. It's different for who? For anybody else, like an African or whoever, to mm -hmm. come here and just swoop in. For the opportunity, and as long as you, if, honestly, as long as you don't get in trouble uh, with true. the law, or mm -hmm. happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, the you know, law when the can laws come around. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? You can be house. harassed. Yeah, yeah. Just, That's what I'm saying. As long as you don't brush, as long mm -hmm. as you don't have brush ins with the law, you straight. And like you <laughs> can try your to best to be the best person ever and <clears throat> still have a, a, a brush They can with come the law. to the wrong house and kill you on exactly. you on your couch. Exactly. Oh my god, get me out of here. Get so, me out of here. Let me this is what I want to say. Denmark. Do y'all know about Denmark? Has anybody ever been to Denmark? I heard that that was one of the best places in the world to live. Really? Why is that? This is black girl. She lives there. She made a video. I wish I would have uh saved it. She made a video and she was like, she was just saying how everybody is happy there. She says less than 1% of people are homeless there. Everybody has a place to live. They have a affordable everything. It's, it's just, and she says she doesn't understand why anybody would want to live in the United States. She moved from the United States to Denmark. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I wish, I really wish I could move, you know what I'm saying? Out of the U.S. 
I really wish I could. Would you do it? Like, if you really Hell yeah. could? Yes, for real, for real. I'm talking I don't about want to for real, for real. These folks. When America time come, I don't want it to be my time, too. You would have to leave your mama. I'm going to take your my mama children. with me. I'm going to take my mama with me. Your children? Everybody got the hood. Yeah, everybody like, come. Would everybody else come, though? Listen, everybody <laughs> probably not going to come, but am I going to stay behind to pay us because other people not going to come? I, I can't. If I got an opportunity to leave, I need to leave because I know that I need to leave. The Bible tells me that I need to leave. This land is going to face judgment. We are God's children. The judgment is not for us. The judgment is on our behalf. So that's why they say Israel, come out of her. You talking about this new Babylon. Mm -hmm. We got to get out of here. We'll be fools to sit up here and then face the same judgment. You know what I'm saying? Because we was too stupid to leave. Yep. Did y'all hear about China? What's going on in China, y'all? No, what's going on? They on lockdown. Like, they can't even come out their house. It's hard for really? them to get food, all kinds of what? stuff. Allegedly. Yeah, this is, I'm watching this happen. Oh, I don't even. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. And some people, they're, you know what, maybe I shouldn't say this. I did see it, though. Okay. Come get her at 14. Oh, good. Um, what was I, what was I saying? To my channel. Yeah. Lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. It's serious out there because of, um, this new strain that's going on. I mean, has it even hit the U.S.? Do you know? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't know if I should show them this, y'all. This is a video on TikTok. Somebody said, this is why I don't eat Chinese food. Uh-oh. I don't know if I should show y'all this. You think YouTube will let me? What is it? What is that? Look at it. Y'all, hold on. Just watch. I can show this. And this is allegedly y'all, but this it, man is putting. It, is it? Was this behind the Chinese restaurant? That's what he said. This is what this man said, y'all, yeah, on this video. Like His dogs, name man. is Pedro Demon Demoni Man underscore Bike Life. You see all them dead? I'm gonna let y'all see it. Wow. Do y'all see that he's putting a bunch of? Um, you know what? Butcher, I can't, is, I butcher, can't show them that. That's a dogs. With no, they, they've been butchered. Yeah, and he's putting them in a basket. And this man that is making this video says that he's right behind a um, a Chinese food um, place. But we don't know what they are there for. We don't know. But they are... They look... Mm -hmm. They're skinned, aren't they? Yeah, they're butchered. Skinned and... Feet cut off, head cut off. Are they? Is off. it? Yeah, they ready to be but they ready to be cut up. This is like a cow. You buy a whole cow car. Are you kidding they ready to be me? cut up and cooked. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's ready to be ate right there. Uh-huh. Pushing that in, baby. Mm-hmm. You want stuff fry? Yeah, I Jerry I, I saw. Will you shut up? We don't know if this is uh, going to this place, but no goddamn what it's I going don't to know place. it is. But they are putting somebody <laughs> is in a truck and he is unloading huh. um, these animals into a basket. And at the end of this video, he is going to push that basket mm -hmm. into the back door of somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know. Cause who in the hell else would be goddamn buying? Some damn um, butcher do you know, dogs. Can you can you listen? Can you tell me somebody else? Yes, Africans do it too. I seen it. They all do it. Girl, they do. Africans ain't out here selling no dog meat. You hear me? Uh, Africans selling chicken. How do you know what they sell? Because you know it's chicken. I'm just saying that they. You said who else? And I've I've seen in Africa because uh, mm -hmm. this is this white man out there trying to rescue My hurt the now. dogs. That's going all on that buffet. So, What's, where was he at? What state is that? Because ain't none of the Chinese food uh, safe up in that place. Uh -uh. I don't I'm, even know where that is. And the man who was um, who was recording it, 
Cause everybody's in the comments like, show us the the restaurant. Like, why you won't show us the restaurant? You know, I don't I don't understand why they didn't either. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my child. Um, but yeah, we we don't know, y'all. Okay, it's all legend, but we do see it on the video. Now we don't see it going into nobody's uh restaurant, so we can't say that. But this man said it. Yeah, on this video. Uh, so. <sighs> you better watch this. You better go to find when you want to eat. You better find your reputable place. That Honestly, you know they got some. You know what I'm saying? You better order. Mm -mm. That still don't change my mind. Because people. Y'all. People eat all kinds of stuff. I seen somebody eating uh, lion meat. Have y'all seen that? Yeah. Really? Lion steak. I would, I would want to eat somewhere some in a spa some Spanish comp uh um you wouldn't eat was lion? it Mexico? It was somewhere lion? I, yeah, I oh no. Lion steak. I would not yeah, eat yeah. no lion. No. It'll be uh -uh. badass on my plate, king of the mm -mm. jungle. Come here. They might like impair like what do you call yeah, it? Pure, yeah, yeah, with lion strength. Exactly. You know like what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want nothing from no lion. They are <laughs> ooh. Oh my God, they're mean. Are you kidding me? Shit, well, give me some of that. So, anyway, gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for, e <laughs> for everyday videos, everyday videos. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all.